I'm sorry to be talking so quiet, but it's really early in the morning and I wanted to show some tips on how to make a better blog post. This one's excellent. It has a few issues though that I wanted to show you um, how to fix. So in the title, um, the colon needs to come right next to the word. There's no space there. And I'd like if there was um, more of an explanation in the title. Because when you put a colon there, that means that there's more information that's going to be attached to it. Okay. Also, this entire text is copied and pasted from some article on the internet. So the way that you can get around um, plagiarism is, even though the sources are cited below, make it a block quote. And that will put the information in a quote um, format to show that it's from somewhere else. But you also have to do this. Um, Mesopo Mesopotamia um, is a fascinating um, part of world studies to examine. For example, introduce it from the article and then needs link, needs source. I'll leave that there. And then you have, like that introduces, I don't want that in the block quote, that introduces uh, this text here. And then you would link uh, whatever source here. So it's got these pictures, which are awesome. And then there's all these sources here, but you can't use sources that are um, not in your own words. And even if you, well, let me back up. Any information that you get from any, any source outside your own immediate life must be cited and not just with links. There's ways to embed um, where all the information comes from. And this is really important because you don't want to be caught plagiarizing. Great tags over here. Fantastic categories over here. Perfect. Um, I'm going to update this and then the author of this post can change um, these links here. Otherwise, that's fantastic. But we got to start doing a much better job of introducing our topic and um, not just copying and pasting text, but making sure that the quotes and citations are embedded. That's really important. If you need to learn how to embed quotes, there's a lot of resources. All you need to do is uh, Google embedding quotes and you will find all kinds of sources on how to actually um, write properly. This is part of the editing process is to make sure that your work is cited properly so you don't get in big academic trouble. There are consequences to this, so you got to make sure that you do this correctly. Please ask me or any other teacher, um, especially a social studies or a language arts teacher, how to do this or for extra help with this.